Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 30th of May to the 5th of June, 2022. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. And at the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper into whatever comes out. You can watch this for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your second house, this could be for you. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Um, once again, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, comments, really massively helps the channel, it's the easiest way to support the channel, and uh, yeah, hits the algorithms, sends the videos far and wide, and uh, helps with the growth, so it's much appreciated, so please don't forget to hit the like button, and the description box has all the information you need, links to Patreon and Vimeo for the extended um, um, website link has the private reads information, as well as Instagram for photos of the spread. Okay, so we start the week on the 30th with the new moon in Gemini. Um, so a bit more fun energy with uh, with Gemini. Um, it's also uh, creating a, 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 a sextile with um, a, a stellium in Aries um, with Mars, Jupiter and uh, Chiron. So lots of healing, new beginnings. And it's... Um, uh, time for enjoyment after the stresses of the eclipse season, which I'm um, sure we've all felt. Um, Mercury rules Gemini, so lots of communications, um, back and forth messages, etc, um, etc. Et okay, let's see what's going on for you. We'll do three more. Okay, Taurus. of cups beautiful a wish fulfillment feeling complete within yourself something we're aware of something we're not aware of recent past advice and potential outcome wowzers we have the magician Intemperance, Five of Swords, and the Fool. Okay. Um, I, I kind of feel like the Magician and Temperance is here to say, be careful what you consume. And I mean that in, in all forms of your, um, your body, physically, mentally, uh, emotionally. Um, so like, you know, Obviously, the, the easiest things when it comes to consume is obviously food and drink. However, this is like, um, you know, emotional things. If if you know something upsets you, why watch it or read about it? Or um, it's like, you know, just being aware of what you surround your energy with. Um, this could be frustration watching the world news. You know, maybe just don't watch it all day. Just look at the headlines or something like that. Um there's a there's a need to kind of really focus your energy on on um, on that. I kind of feel like whatever you're manifesting here is pretty amazing. You, you you're manifesting a connection which is going to uh, blow your mind. So we've got the nine of cups. This is some form of wish fulfillment. What we're aware of is the ace of wands. This could be a creative passion that you've um, had, um, a aha moment um, with your with your manifestations. Um, what you're not aware of is the three of pentacles. This aha moment requires collaborations. I feel the nine of cups. Nines are all about um, um, individuality it's the it, the very lonesome cards the hermit being nine um maybe whatever this spark of genius that you've had requires help so if helps there be sure to receive it in the recent past we had the knight of wands this could have been a house move um finding the, the passion um, I'm looking. I've noticed the four of ones around it, so the, the eleven eleven concept here. Um, whatever it is, I kind of feel like you've broke free from, and what that's doing 
is your advice is these six of swords whatever it is that you've done keep doing it because it's pulling you away from whatever turmoil that you were in um some of you could literally be packing your bags and moving traveling possibly um because i'm just looking at the lady and don't get caught up in genders but she's got a bag packed here she's got a suitcase so there could be an opportunity coming where you just get a chance to go interestingly i think i told this to aquarius the other day i'm seeing nine of cups three of pentacles six of swords nine three six it's not a typical solfeggio frequency however it's very good at decalcifying the pineal gland so nine three six hertz something possibly you could listen to um, but if you look at another way, if we go the other way, we've got 396, which is liberation from shame, fear and guilt. Uh, and then um, kind of um, not a real process because we're going back, but there's 963, which is the uh, the I am, the, the, the true sense of being. Um, but I kind of feel like we need to focus on the 396, it's liberation from shame, fear and guilt, but also decalcifying the pineal gland. But whatever's happening here, Whatever you're moving away from uh, is moving you towards beautiful lover's energy. So whatever you're manifesting, you're manifesting a partnership, which is it is a clear wish fulfillment. Um, it could have taken time. One thing that this, I'm hearing here with the Six of Swords, if you look at it in the traditional deck, it's very kind of solemn moving away from the... A uh, rough period in your life. Um, make sure, especially if this does include anything from the past, make sure when you get to the other side of the Six of Swords, when you get to the shore, that you leave them swords behind, you know, which is kind of like conflict and the past, the arguments, the anger. Um, make sure when you do get to the other side, you know, don't do the seven of swords you know the seven of swords okay the person is carrying two swords away leaves five on the ground i'd suggest just leaving um the one sword the ace of swords which is truth it's clarity and communication um so make sure you drop the other five okay but whatever you're manifesting is, is a beautiful energy it's, um this is a partnership this could be if you've had the uh, aha moment in regards to um, a business idea um you're gonna be collaborating with people and you may end up having um, a real solid connection here um, for some of you which may, may lead to love as well but with the magician and the temperance here and um, magician and temperance i always get i get well magician temperance and chariot i also get with it as well but if you um, um follow your archangels and your uh, sacred geometry for me this is archangel metatron uh, the angel of manifestation really um everything is in the uh, sacred geometry the metatron's cube um, and i'm just look, noticing very and it's interestingly enough connecting both their um third eyes we see i don't know how clear you can see it we can see the merkaba so this could be a joining of two souls here whatever it is i love it you know we've literally got Besides um, the Ace of Wands and the Magician, which is all about potentiality and creativity and passion and manifestations, the rest of the cards are all either 9, 6 or 3. Because the Knight of Wands is a 12, breaks down to a 3. Nikola Tesla says, you know, 3, 6 and 9 is the, uh, is the vibrations of everything. The key to the universe, vibration, frequency and so on. Taurus. You've got a wish fulfillment coming. Could well be a relationship that you wanted. Could well be a business that's going to um, uh, draw the attention of somebody that's going to really help you in a partnership. Either way, whatever this is, um, make sure you leave the past in the past um, and move on to this because it's um, it's going to be very, very, very good and very, very beneficial for you. Okay. So, who have we added? We've got Gemini. Gemini again, Virgo, Sagittarius. Gemini again, Aquarius. Um, 
We've got swords, cups, pentacles and wands. Everybody's here. Okay, enjoy this newfound um, uh, opportunity um, because it's something that's going to um, be absolutely wonderful for you. Okay, if you can join me in the extended where we'll uh, dive in deeper to whatever this is, uh, fantastic. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye.